Hello, it's Coach Randy Sadovitz here again. It is Wednesday, March 25th. It seems like all these days are blurring together. Our Coach's Challenge today is going to be similar to yesterday's challenge where we were passing the ball at the wall. We were trying to pass the ball up to ourselves to catch it. Today, we are going to try to serve the ball at the wall, pass the ball back to the target. So we're trying to aim at a rectangle right now. It's not uh, quite two feet. Um, it's about 22 inches by about uh, 18, by about a foot and a half. So you can make up wherever you're comfortable with as far as your target. Uh, this is just painter's tape up there. So it is, it can come right off. No problem, won't leave any residue behind. So uh, I'm gonna take this off right after it's, we're done with our challenge. So um, also with our Mindset Volleyball Club members, I am gonna be sending out an email um, tomorrow about some video analysis that if you have something you want to show as far as maybe your serve, maybe your pass, maybe your set, um, your spike, your footwork, your approach, some type of technique, we're going to actually do coach's eye, which we sometimes use at practice where we slow-mo it down, but I'm able to now record some audio and then send that back to you. So we're gonna provide that as a service through our club. Without further ado, we're going to start our challenge. I have a handy dandy nice little seat cushion I'm gonna use for my knees so I can have some knees at the end of this. I'm going to be serving the ball at the wall, pass the ball up to myself and catch. That was yesterday. So today I'm gonna to serve the ball at the wall, pass the ball back to the target is the goal. So it doesn't matter where I want to serve the ball at aiming wise. I probably want to keep that wrist in front of my elbow just like before. I'm gonna twist. So it's that torque motion to get some more power behind it. So I'm gonna serve at the wall and then pass the ball back to the target. All right. Okay, pretty good. I wanna do my best to hold my pose. That's one of my most important passing technique is to hold your pose. Um, follow through with your arms. We don't wanna see any rays of sunshine or split apart arms. So I serve at the wall. Oops. I serve at the wall and pass and try to target. I'm gonna go with 10 of them in a row is my goal. I'm gonna serve the ball at the wall, pass the ball to my target inside of that rectangle. Serve, pass. One, serve, pass. Two, pass. Oh, not quite. Restart. One, nope, not quite. One, you know what's happening? <laughs> not to make excuses with it, but it is a little bit difficult with not having any feet with this. So it is controlling that serve to aim exactly where you want that ball to go. All right, one, Two, three, four, five. I'm dropping my shoulder because what's happening is it's coming on the side of me and I want to be able to drop my shoulder to angle the ball in. It's not always midline. Midline is where we're talking about directly in the middle of your body. Sometimes you do have to move out your arms to the side to absorb when you don't have enough time, which for right now, this is a quick reaction with my arms because I'm serving from about five feet away. Six. Ooh, I'm gonna restart. That was not quite in that rectangle. One. Not quite, we're gonna restart. I'm hitting the ball a little bit too high 
and I want to be able to angle my arms, angle towards that target. One, two, three. I would suggest serving and a little bit less speed, less velocity on the serve so I can keep the ball more in front of me so I don't handcuff myself going backwards with it. Serve, four, five, six, seven, no, no, not quite. All right, restart. I know what to do, just like I said, a little bit less speed with it. Don't sacrifice form, just less speed behind your arm. Kind of, maybe hit that X. Six. Seven. Eight. No. Restart. Goal is 10 right now. Angle my arms all the way out in front. One. Two. Come back on that one. Five. Oh, too high. Higher is probably better than lower in this drill. Like I said, you can make your own rectangle however you want it to be. You can make it bigger than this. I'm aiming as long as it touches part of the rectangle. I'm good to go with that. I'm serving at the wall, passing the ball back to target. Okay. Ready? Uh, I'm going to restart. That's a little bit high. Okay. One. Two. Three. No. Not good. Like I said, I handcuffed myself. I couldn't really move on that. So I am definitely served with a lot less speed than usual. One. I mean, a little bit high in my arms. I want to contact the ball out in front, just above my wrist, right on my forearm. Keep my arms straight. Locked elbows. Ooh, look at that one. Two. No. The moment I start falling backwards, what happens is I'm going to lose a lot of my momentum. I want to be able to lean forwards and pass the ball and aim and guide the ball to where I want to uh, hit the ball to. Ready? Whew. I'm not doing that one. That was one arm. All right, here we go. I'm going 10 in a row is the goal. Not quite. One. Nope. Now I could serve the ball at the wall and use my hands. Coach, why isn't that easier? It sure is. And that's something maybe you want to work on with just hand sets instead of bumping the ball. Use your hands. You have a lot more control with it. Ready? One. Two. Oh, I use my hands with that. I'm gonna switch that up just so I'm bumping the ball. I wanna aim my arms to the target. Nope, a little high. Same thing. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good, I didn't really like that last one anyways. I don't think that was quite there. All right, we're going to 10. Try my best to get it inside the rectangle. One. Two. Three. 
Four. Five. Uh, I think that was on the right side of it. Restart. Not quite. Nope. Too high. Um, if, as far as aiming, I am aiming right around that rectangle for my serve, just so that it does come back to me at a reasonable speed and aim. So I can either go midline, middle of my body, or if it's outside, I want to really hold my pose on it. One. Two. What happened on that one, I served a little bit too fast came up on me and got my arms and I went straight up. One, just like that, but I got lucky. <laughs> I got handcuffed on that one as well. Restart. One. All right, we'll restart. Oh, thank you. I'm trying to aim and trying to bump the ball. Sure, I could do 10, no problem to set the ball into the wall. If it's high, so if I do a combination of bumping or setting, that's seven, that's eight, nine, that would be 10, it'd be really easy. I just did one of them that was a bump because it was a little bit too low. But right now I'm trying to focus on my control, my serve, so I can bump the ball into the target. A little bit high. Hold your pose. One. Ah. Uh, use my hands. Restart. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. No, too high. Higher is probably better than lower with this drill, which is totally fine. I want to aim my shoulders, aim at the target, take off a little bit of speed on my serve so I can get it there. You can do a number of these in maybe five minutes if you want. It's up to you on what your goal is and how to improve. My goal right now is to get to 10 in a row with just passing the ball with my forearms without setting, as I showed before. Setting it in is gonna have a lot more control. I want to work on my digs and get it right inside of that rectangle. All right, I'm gonna focus on keeping the ball. Now when I'm serving, I am trying to contact the ball with my wrist in front of my elbow when I'm serving. And I'm digging the ball up to the target. It's better higher than lower. That's one. That's two. That's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. All right, definitely the ten in a row. The issue with what I just did, if you saw my swings, they were not real good swings. When I hit the ball, it almost was like a half a swing. I am inside of a garage. That is gonna be a little bit more difficult. Like I said, I would recommend to work on your hands as well. Set the ball in if you can. You're gonna have a lot more control. Feel free to swing a little bit faster if you want, because then you can follow through a little bit better with that. All right, so once again, any of my uh, volleyball players through Mindset Volleyball Club, I'm gonna send out an email tomorrow talking about video analysis. If there's something that you want to say, hey coach, how can I get better at serving? I feel like I'm not serving as well as I can. We can break it down. I'll give some suggestions as far as 
how to record. If it's a serve, it's probably gonna be on your side. If it's a set, it's probably gonna be a little bit on the side, a little bit behind you as well. But we will talk about how that's going to work. I will send you that email. Once again, Coach Randy Savitz, Mindset Volleyball Club. Thank you for watching.